Congressman Paul, do you agree with Senator Evan Bayh, who, who basically said yesterday that, that things are so polarized in Congress that, that the people's business isn't getting done? Well, the people's business isn't getting done, but I'm not so sure that we are on the right uh, tune about where the arguments are. I don't think it's because people don't compromise enough. I think it's because they compromise too much. And uh, they don't, uh, we don't have enough people standing on principle. For instance, they uh, compromise on the welfare state. They compromise on the warfare state. They compromise on endorsing the monetary system. So I think we have way too much compromise, and we need to define what we believe in. We either believe in welfareism and socialism and big government, or we believe in liberty and limited government and the Constitution. Well, Dr. Paul, do you agree with that? And if you do, isn't compromise essential for actual governance? Well, I don't think it's necessarily compromise that's the problem. What I see when I go around the country and around the state to these tea parties is that people want on both sides not to just be spending money wantonly like they are in Washington. I hear equal criticism. They're worried about the debt, but they say it's on both sides of the aisle, Republican and Democrat. We talk in my race about West Virginia paving every inch of it based on Senator Byrd's seniority. We also talk about that fact that Republicans from Alaska have been earmarking and paving a lot of things up there, too. So the problems, the Tea Party movement, we see it as on both sides of the aisle, but not a lack of compromise, just sort of a lack of anyone standing up for the taxpayer. But, Dr. Paul, the criticism, as you know, of the Tea Party movement is that, you know, it's one thing to... Uh, argue something in order to get a candidate in or to protest, but to actually govern requires a different set of, um, uh, I mean, requires compromise. You, you You don't believe that's true? Well, I think the problem is we are compromising, but we compromise for more spending usually. For example, 32 states have a rule that says they have to balance their budget by law. I run on the platform that says federal government should be no different. And when I say that at a Tea Party, it brings down the House. They want their government to balance their budget. They see our future and our kids' future being destroyed by debt. And so that's not Republican and Democrats compromising to spend half as much money. It's that we need new rules. So I talk about term limits and I talk about balancing the budget by law. And that's not necessarily a compromise. That's pushing them all in a big direction towards much more frugality. Dr. Paul, you've been endorsed now by by Sarah Palin. She's also endorsed Senator John McCain in what could be a tough battle for his reelection. Is John McCain your kind of Republican? Well, I think there are some things that John McCain does that I like. I mean, he has been one of the Republicans who will vote against some of the procurements, even in the military budget, when he sees waste in the military budget. Do he and I agree on a lot on everything? No, I didn't agree with McCain-Feingold. In fact, I liked seeing the Supreme Court overturn McCain-Feingold because I thought it restricted uh, freedom of speech. So there won't be everything we agree on, but there are some things that I can agree on with John McCain. Uh, I know you've said Sarah Palin is the biggest endorsement any Republican could get right now. Do you think she'd make a good president, a president, doctor? Well, I think what she has is something that you can't buy. I mean, she has likability. She's very likable. And I think she will have to, like I have to, and like every other person, is run the gauntlet. The question, though, is do you think she would make a good president? Yeah, I think Sarah Palin could be a great president. But I think what will happen is what happens is the vigorous process of the primaries. And, uh, you know, she hasn't said yet where she, whether she'll do it or not. But, you know, she's made some, I think, very astute and smart political moves. She's come out and supported me, of course, which I think is a great move. But I think she's supporting people who are running against the establishment. And this motivates those in the Tea Party who want not just someone to endorse whoever the party favorite is, but someone who will shake up the system. And, Congressman, uh, the the Republican establishment in Kentucky has not really endorsed your son, has not gotten behind him. Why is that? Oh, I don't I I don't know. But the Republican establishment never endorsed me either. But uh, after I'd win primaries, uh, I was quite willing to work with them and vote for their leadership and do what I needed to do to be part of the party. And uh, I think Rand's in a similar situation like that. You know, they're not running to bail them out and, and, and support them. Uh, uh, Washington, D.C. hasn't rushed to help them. But in this day and age, that's a that's a badge of honor. Let me tell you, it, it really is. Congressman, do you guys agree on everything? 
Well, I, I doubted that. I would say, you know, we have five children. I would say Rand, Rand is probably one that challenged me the most. Could you envision a time when, when Senator Paul, if, if you become Senator Paul, and Congressman Paul are at odds? Uh, possibly. Uh, when I was home at Thanksgiving, the whole debate was whether they were going to let me sit at the, you know, still sit at the, the main table this time because we were having some disagreements. But in the end, they did let me eat Thanksgiving at the main table. So, um, you know, my dad and I, I, I like to use the word that I'm a, a constitutional conservative. My dad likes to call himself and has been called a champion of the Constitution. And I think that's where there's a great deal of similarity. And there will be some differences of opinion because a lot of us support the Constitution. We don't always interpret it the same way. Congressman Ron Paul and uh, Rand Paul, candidate for U.S. Senate. Senate thanks, for, uh, thanks for your time today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank Ashley. you.